Hey YouTube, Captain Mark here from King's Landing Sport Fishing, and I got a simple tip for you today. Um, you know, I think many of us, uh, after a season is done, we've got a lot of really dirty spoons that we want to clean up. I use an example here. You know, here I've got a brand new spoon, super shiny. Here I've got one that's been in the water a bunch. You can tell it's all dull, and even and it's hard to see in the camera, but it's actually all tarnished and got water spots on it. You know, I've got another one here. You know water spots you can kind of see on it as well so i'm gonna actually talk you through uh how i clean my uh how i clean my spoons and make them you know call as good as new for the next season but before i do that please don't forget to click on the, the like button and the subscribe button it helps me out a great deal as an amateur youtube content producer so let's get started first thing uh normally i would do this at the sink in the kitchen or in my uh or my uh my, my basement bar area but uh i'm sitting in front of my camera here so i can't do that uh, so what do I use? First of all, I, I, today I just got a little tub of water, soapy water, and it's nothing special. You know, warm water with just a little uh, pinch of Dawn. And then a couple of rags. I've got a, I got a, a, you know, a couple of microfiber rags. And then I actually use um, some Mother's Canuba, you know, uh, mag and aluminum polish. Uh, Canuba is, an, is, is natural. It comes from plants. So I, I find it works great. Um, you know, while, you know, it might be a pretty strong scent when you open up a can of it, once you actually put it on and wiped it off, I, I find this very little scent that I can, uh, with my human nose smell. And then I'll, and then I'll talk to you what I do with those spoons. Like I don't, uh, I don't just wax them and put them right in the water. Like I'm doing it now in February and these won't go in the water for another couple of months. So they get to, they get to air out just in case there is any scent. Anyways, so I'll start, I'll take my, uh, take my spoon. I'll just put it in the, uh. I'll put it in the soapy water and kind of just uh, rub my finger up and down a bit, make sure I can get it uh, get it all clean. And then what I'll do is I'll take a I'll take a clean dry rag and I'll clean it off or dry it off. This is to get rid of the first uh, you know call it any any loose dirt that you can get off. But you know I wish you guys could see this better, but this spoon is quite it's quite tarnished even with that with that. So then what I do is I take my uh, my mother's uh, canuba rag, uh, sorry, wax. And I got another, I got another uh, rag here. And just with my, just with my thumb, I just get a real little bit of the wax. And then I start smearing that on the back of the spoon, all up and down on the spoon here. And you know what? I'm gonna put a little bit more because I didn't put enough. And now you'll see the spoon's kind of got a hazy, hazy look to it. That's the wax doing its, uh, doing its job. Then I go to another part of this rag and I start applying pressure. And what I'm doing, I'm just applying pressure to the spoon here to basically buff off that, uh, that wax. But it doesn't take much. Like, I'm not putting a lot of pressure on this. And then this, this spoon was pretty tarnished. And I'll show you guys in a second as I put it up next to a brand new spoon. Uh, you know, it doesn't even have, never even painted before. I, like, literally just pulled out a package. But, you know... You can see here, there's next to no difference in these spoons. Like that wax just brought that spoon up like it was literally brand new. Um, so that's, that's, it's a simple trick. You know, I got another one here. I got a, I got an old stinger that's, you know, got some, uh, got some corrosion on it. Similar thing. I just washed it in the soap water. You know, can I give it a, give it a wipe? You know, if you're doing a, if you're doing a spoon with a hook, be careful. It's a, this is a good way of stabbing yourself with a hook. So be really, really careful. Myself, I would recommend taking the hooks off if you're going to clean up. If you're going to clean a whole bunch, because as you as you start cleaning a whole bunch, you'll uh, you're eventually going to stab yourself with a hook. So now that I've cleaned that that stinger spoon off with uh, with some uh, some soapy water, you're going to take it similarly a little bit of a uh, little bit of the mother's wax in the uh, on the spoon. I'm going to rub that in, and you'll see the spoon's all. It's all cloudy right now as I, uh, as I do that. And then I'm going to take that same rag, but another corner. Now I'm going to buff this spoon out. And it's going to come up nice. You know, I'm going to say almost as good as new. This, this, this Stingray spoon here, it had some real bad corrosion on some of the corners. So it's, I don't think it's going to be perfect, but it's going to be pretty damn close. Um, I find this is a, a really important tip, especially if you're like me and you live by running scent. 
because the scent really does come up and, 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 and take a toll on the, your spoons and make them look kind of crappy. And for those of you who don't know, I mean running stuff like this. Running stuff like the, uh, the Lunker Lotion from Atlas Mics. I swear by this stuff, but it does, over time, leave, uh, leave some gr a grungy film on the back of your spoons. So here's that stingray. But you can see, like, even that, it, it's, like, good as new now. So uh, it's, a, it's a real simple tip on, uh, on cleaning your spoons. But, uh, you know, I think it's important. I, I, you know, I don't want to take, take a bunch of grungy-looking spoons and, uh, and put them in the water. So I, I clean these, and then what I do is I just leave them out for you know a couple months to uh, to air out, um, and then uh, and then uh, you know they'll go uh, they'll go in the water with some scent on. If you are someone that is really worried because you put wax on, what you can do is afterwards you can actually wash them again in 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 that soapy water, or put them on a dishwasher cycle, and then use your clean your clean dry rag just to dry that off, and then you know that's another way to hopefully try and get rid of any. You know any of that canuba scent if you really are worried but like i said it's a natural scent i've caught fish doing this so i'm not i'm not concerned uh, at all especially when i take my uh I take my spoons and i run it with this so hope you find this tip useful uh give it a try on your spoons you're gonna see your spoons shine up like like no tomorrow they're gonna look fantastic and i'll be ready to fish anyways good luck folks have a great 2022 season talk to you later bye